Hello, and welcome to today's session. As always, I'm your host, Kevin Grote, Staff Systems Engineer here at VMware. Today, we've got a really special session. I'm a big fan of whiteboards. And I was asked by one of our customers to create a whiteboard that wrapped up the unified hybrid cloud story from a technical perspective, including things like vRealize Automation, NSX, vCloud Air, other people's clouds, advanced networking services, all of this great stuff. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to walk you through that whiteboard, hopefully so that you as engineers and architects will be able to take this whiteboard and leverage it for yourself in your own conversations, overlaying it into your own infrastructure to understand possibilities for growth and how VMware's unified hybrid cloud vision fits into your needs and demands going forward. Feel free to follow along. We're going to be doing this full screen and there's a total of two sessions, this being one of them. So be sure to watch them both to see them both stitched together. Hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's now take a look at the Unified Hybrid Cloud Whiteboard. Thanks for joining again. Today, we're going to take it a step further and we're going to finish out the whiteboard. We're going to be talking about how we automate and create extensibility inside of the cloud. Well, we can continue to throw compute and storage resources out into the cloud all we want, but if we don't have the ability to extend the network topology, then it all becomes kind of a moot point. With vCloud Air and advanced networking services, we have the ability to create multiple times more advanced networking topologies that more closely replicate and extend what might exist inside of the physical on-premise data center. So now your off-premise data center, complete with firewalls, network address translation, and load balancing, has all of the capability that your on-premise data center has. So any workloads that we're moving from on-premise to off-premise, etc., we have the ability to do that and we have the ability to do it very seamlessly because the workloads are going to be migrated in both those points. We also have new ways to connect. One would be a layer two extension. Being able to ensure that workloads can communicate as seamlessly and efficiently inside of a data center as they do across multiple data centers. And another for convenience would be an SSL VPN. So now, what do we do with all of these forms of communication, all of this ability to move workloads back and forth? Well, we get into the logic of automation. And in an automation space, VMware offers vRealize Automation. vRealize Automation is a highly specialized tool because of what it can do. It has the ability to provision not only against VMware resources, but it has the ability to provision against other clouds and other resources that exist as well. So being able to provision against your virtual resources, being able to provision against things like NSX on-premise so that you can spin up entire data centers, including advanced networking topologies with the click of a button, and then being able to also mimic those same capabilities, whether you're talking about deploying into and uh, building off of vCloud Air, whether it's a virtual private or a dedicated cloud or even someone else's cloud, and being able to provide the same levels of network sophistication that exist inside of your on-premise data center. vRealize Automation gives all of this and it gives the ability for users to access this in a multi-tenant environment so that everything is being built out by policy. In addition, we also, inside of vCloud Air, have the capacity to leverage what's called a direct connect. And effectively, a direct connect means that if you have your infrastructure in the same 
network uh, operation center as we do for one of ours, we can cross connect those two. Because of the integration of advanced networking services, we can also seamlessly integrate the networking that exists between on-premise and off-premise. Now, this is really exciting simply because this means that if you have micro-segmentation or you have uh, specialized routing, firewalling, or translation that's occurring on-premise, you can mimic those out into your cloud resources so that when those workloads are moving around, they're going to be carrying with them the same policies, rules, and security that they have on-premise. So now when we think about layer two extensions, we think about moving workloads on-premise to off-premise, or maybe even splitting our topology, it now becomes feasible because we can protect them all in the same way. So now we take it a step further, Last year at VMworld, we demonstrated and announced the Hybrid Cloud Manager. And this is especially exciting because this now means that those same workloads we talked about a little bit earlier, where we were having to power off those virtual machines to move them out, we now have the capacity into a dedicated cloud at this time. We have the ability to take those workloads and move them to and from our cloud while the machines are still running. So we can create live migrations of these machines and the possibilities really become pretty staggering when you think about it. You could do, uh, you know, follow the sun topologies. We could, um, you know, ensure disaster avoidance instead of just disaster recovery. And we'd be able to do so while adhering to very strict and highly performant recovery time and recovery point objectives inside of this space. So when we talk about where VMware is going with the unified hybrid cloud, the ideas are cohesive. It's about leveraging existing investments. It's about growing the ecosystem and it's about attaching to what you already have and building it greater from there. Thanks again for taking time with me today. Hopefully you found this information valuable as always. I look forward to talking to you again soon. And until then, be sure to reach out to your local engineering and sales teams for more information on these fantastic products and so much more. And be sure to check out the playlists here for more content regarding end user compute, software defined data center, mobility, storage, and software defined networking, and more. And also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for more updates. Thanks again, have a fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you again really soon.